Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, the Australian dollar was off yesterday's highs at 69.62 and slipped to a low of an intraday overnight of 69.24 and now today the low has been 69.13. Taking out the support at 69.35 has given further indication that the market is breaking down. Now, from a technical point, is that the fact is the RSI has nearly married up with the MACD, and therefore I do expect to see the market challenge the 68.95 support. Any advances should fail towards 69.75.85 and give opportunity as a potential supply zone. It is seen or foreseen that the market should continue weak to be weaker and look towards the region of 68 figure 40, which is the objective at this stage due to the fact is that the RBA can still cut rates by another 25 basis points, and if so, would indicate a further bearish Australian dollar. The market posted a bearish outside range day overnight for the euro, after the dollar index posted a fresh rebound from the level in front of 96.40 of a low of 52, from the rally, it posted a high of 96.97 and on the flip has given us a bearish outside range day, which now awaits confirmation. If we see a move under the level of 112.70, then I do expect to see further risks to the downside and look towards the region of 112.15 to 111.60. Any advances should fail towards 113.45 and a cap now at 113.80.90. It is concerning that dollar yen pattern hasn't changed now for nine consecutive days and it has from this point rejected the level of 108.7095. Although the MACD is bullish, the RSI is questionable. I'm not turning my view yet. I still believe the market can rally on and therefore take out 108.7090 and look towards the region of the high 109 to 110. What turns this view around if we go beneath 107.85? Like dollar yen, the pound is struggling to take out the level of 127.60 and again got to a high of 58 overnight. The lack of demand is a little bit concerning, but nevertheless, we could still see a break of this level. But the longer we remain under, the further threat is of move back towards 126.50. Gold surges overnight from a low of 1,325 to a high of 1,338 before dropping back modestly. It is assessed that the risk is still to the upside. Now we need to clear the 1,340.43 resistance, which if you can see back in early February was the cap. A break above there would give scope up towards 1,300 50 to 65. Wrapping up with oil, the market dropped over 4% overnight and now gives concerns that the market is preparing itself for a challenge at the $50 level. A break beneath there would give further risk to the downside and bring in a target of $45. But at present, let's not get too bearish as the market hasn't quite broken yet. And there is a little bit of divergence when it comes to the MACD and also the RSI. So we could see a recovery again from the 50 level. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the interesting report and hope you enjoy this great start to the new day.